my name is Abdullah Al-Kabi. I come from uh, the United Arab Emirates. I'm a film director. And um, recently I have the finished the uh, short film uh, called The Philosopher. So uh, right now I'm working on promoting the film. Okay, I used to be um, I used to work for Dubai TV before, and the the way I really started into this business was that I was scouted for a, a charity reality show on Dubai TV. I've always wanted to be involved with the camera, not really in front. I want to be behind, but I thought it was a an opportunity. So I talked to my parents. So they thought if you really feel like your heart is, is in this, then you can stop for one semester and you can join it. Since I was a baby, since I was a baby, I knew I wanted to be a film director. I didn't even know what a film director was. I just loved. I just asked my mom one day, "What's a film director?" She said, "It's someone responsible for making a film." I said, "Okay, I want to be a film director." I'm a kind of person that doesn't take no for an answer. I'm a real fighter, and if I really set my mind to something, I do it. It's a funny story. Um, there was a producer in, in Paris who has um, a production house in Dubai. And he was looking to support uh, local talents. At school, I had to do an internship. So um, I called him up saying that you have a production house in Paris, so I'd love to intern for you. So I told him, um, I have a script that I can, uh, I have a story that I can adapt. I would love if you can produce it for me. Something really small budget, just so I can start my career as a film director. He said, okay, sure. So I locked myself up for three months, uh, three weeks, sorry. I came to him with a script that I adapted. He fell in love with the script and he said, maybe we can do big stuff with this. I want to change my life. give up absolutely everything for this cause. I'm more of a film director for international audience than for a film director for a regional, uh, regional audience. Why is that? It's because I want to show the world that us as, as Arabs, Emiratis, we're as normal as anyone around the world. I want to uh, kill the stereotype that we have in cinema of, of Arabs and uh, just show the world that we can do it. Uh, the first day I went to the shoot, uh, on the first shooting day, it was, I woke up maybe at 4, I had to be there at 5. I see six trucks, a couple of trailers, the biggest screen in Europe, Luc, Besson, uh, uh, Luc Besson's uh, crew. 80 people waiting for my direction. I thought, what the hell have I done? I want to get back, I want to take the next flight and go back home. <laughs> but alhamdulillah, uh, after it absorbed in, and I was, I was able to, to, uh, to get into the rhythm of it all. And, uh, and John's amazing, he's an amazing guy, he's a very professional actor. As far as cinema goes, uh, my inspiration as a film director, Truffaut, I love Truffaut so much. I love his, his, uh, uh, his universe uh, of thoughts. I love Nadine Lepsky's work, she's very good. I saw her, her film uh, that premiered in Cannes, El It would be my parents, of course, my father and my mother. I just love them so much. They are really uh, the, the core of my life. My father has taught me so much in this life. You will definitely be watching, inshallah, feature film by 2012. It's going to be international production. It's going to be shot in English. It's going to be with uh, uh, 
international uh, talent, international stars. As cliche as it might sound, it's really simple. Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams, whatever it is. Take a, take a, take a minute, ask yourself, what do I want to do in this life? Am I happy doing what I'm doing right now? If not, stop, follow your dreams. Even it's, it's, it's all, I always say it's gonna be the hardest choice, but it's gonna be the most rewarding. And for the people who want to work in film, and want to be film directors, like your friend. Um, shoot films as much as you can. With a camera, with a, with a mobile phone. Shoot it as much as you can and watch films from not just from Hollywood and Bollywood, like from across the world. You shouldn't ask me what's the craziest thing. It should because there's so many stuff. Ask me what's the most sane thing you've done. <laughs> that I can pinpoint because maybe they have five or six things that are sane. Um I love disco music. Retro funk music, disco music. Like a I was really a teacher's pet. So, but once they're out, once they're out of sight, I'm a completely different student. <laughs> the thing is, I'm a very calm person. Uh, I have very good control of, of myself. Even to the point, like my producer, after the filming our thing, the thing is I was in so zen and so like uh, um, quiet and all of that. But the thing is, inside my head, I was like shouting, screaming. I was like, in one word, determined. Never settle for second best. Two things. One is that I have an alter ego, which is I always want to be a detective. If I wasn't uh, meant to be a film director, I would definitely be a detective. Uh, plus, I have an obsession with dreams. I get dreams that I'm a, I'm a cat. And it's really weird. Uh, I really have an obsession with cats. And the thing is, I'm allergic to cats. I'm a really I'm an environmentalist. So I'm, I'm a really avid environmentalist. Um, so anything that's really un like environmentally friendly really, really disappoints me, makes me go mad. I love Malah. <laughs> I love, uh, like I really uh, obsess about it even when I'm in France. Also, orange juice. You will never, I will never, uh, uh, you know how people drink coffee? For me it's orange juice. Definitely iPhone. Uh, Blackberry just gets somewhere nice. Well, it's definitely gonna be some D lister celebrity whose nobody has, has ever heard it because I really I don't have an interesting story so far. <laughs> so that's for sure. <laughs> Ask me later. <laughs> Time travel. Abdel al Kabi, uh, where are you? <laughs> I speak three languages French, Arabic, and English, and I'm gonna learn Spanish soon. Hi, this is Abdel al Kabi, and uh, you're logged in to Think Up the page.